All right, so we're here looking at the new Microsoft Dynamics AX, looking at the basically the order to cash process. So going through what would be a regular sales order, adding a couple lines to that sales order, and then generating an invoice and receiving a payment on that on that invoice. So I'm here at the sales order screen. This is obviously a little bit different than uh, 2012 if you're used to that version. Certainly some similar flavors to it, but obviously optimized for a web browser now. Uh, Microsoft has made some pretty substantial changes here. And so we're just going to kind of step through this. The, the new button up top in the left here is sort of the, the traditional way to, to add a new sales order. Um, comes up with this create sales order window here. We're actually going to go ahead and hit cancel and look at some functionality that Microsoft has just released in this version of Dynamics, which is the Excel integration. So up in the top right hand corner, if I click on sales orders and then download, this is actually going to open up in Excel a kind of a replication of the view that we were just looking at. So these are the same sales orders uh, that were just in that uh, other view there. And just a side note, you can also filter directly through Excel through, through live business data right now. So if we wanted to say filter on status of only open orders, get it done and refresh. And that is going to populate, in this case, none. Um, but we're going to go ahead and make a new sales order now. And you'll notice that as you click through the different fields here, in the, the right-hand bar here, there is, for, for many fields, the drop-down fields, it's going to actually give you these, these options here. So we're going to select Open Order. And then for our customer account, we'll just go ahead and use this MY-004. MY-004. And technically that's all you need to create a sales order, but we'll go ahead and put in maybe a customer reference here. And when you're ready to publish this, uh, you can hit the publish button. We're actually going to go ahead and add just a couple more orders here just to kind of demonstrate the feature set of this. So we'll do another open order for MY001. And how about another one for MY-004 as well. So we've got our three sales orders. And we'll put some customer references in there as well. And then hit this Publish button. So uh, it gives us a successful message here that the workbook was updated. And now, with any luck, if we refresh our sales order view here, we now see the three new sales orders that we created inside Excel. So this is a huge uh, improvement over the Excel integration in, um, in 2012. So I'm going to click into uh, one of these sales orders now. And after we select it, it's going to bring up the sales order details page. And down here, we're just going to add a line. And we'll do this 12 foot HDMI cable. Three of those. Looks like we don't have a unit price on this, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill in a unit price of $50. So we see our net amount of $150. And it's giving us an error message that the site must be filled in. So we're just going to go ahead and fill that. If you select the line details, 
and then on the product tab here we're just going to select a site and a warehouse. Since this is a demo um, environment we'll just check the financial dimensions as well to make sure that everything's filled out here which it's not. So we'll just fill these in. We should be good. So we'll save this and then from here uh, you can just actually go to the invoice tab and generate an invoice. So by default um, it's only going to want to invoice items that have been packing slip updated. Again functionality here is very similar to 2012. Uh, by changing it to all, we'll see those um, three HDMI cables that we added onto the sales order. And then we're also going to go ahead and select print invoice. And as long as we don't get any posting errors here, we should in a moment see uh, the invoice that gets generated on the screen. Looks like we did hit some posting errors here, so uh, let's go ahead and resolve this real quick. It actually says that there's none in stock. From the menu here we're going to go ahead and select inventory management. And then we are going to do a uh, item adjustment journal just to bring this quantity up here so that we can actually post the sales order. And I think we had 12 foot HDMI cables. We'll go ahead and put in 100 of those just to be safe. And then we'll need to fill in our dimensions. I believe we had site 2 and warehouse MO2, but we'll also go ahead and add some to the other warehouse as well. All right, and then up top to post here. And we get a successful message that the journal is posted. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to that sales order now. And this was the one that we were working with earlier. And let's go ahead and try to invoice this one more time and see if uh, it'll let us uh, get past the message. We're just going to go ahead and hit no. And all our settings are uh, retained from the last time, so we'll just hit OK here. So all reports and invoices and um, all that are still uh, using SSRS as the delivery model there. So you saw kind of that uh, traditional SSRS loading screen there. And now we have our invoice rendered within the client. And from here you have your uh, normal options of exporting this out to PDF, uh, Word, Excel, what have you. So from here, PDF, uh, you can save that PDF and you've got your invoice. So now let's go ahead and look at the uh, cash side of that. So we've generated the invoice, and now if I look at close out of this, and we'll go ahead and go into the AR module. So again, very similar uh, layout to uh, what you're used to in 2012. Uh, if we go into all customers,
we'll see uh, Otter Wholesales, which is the customer that we generated that sales order against. You can go ahead and do a new payment journal. And um, again, with any luck, when we go into enter customer payments here, hopefully we will see um, our outstanding sales order after we select the customer here. All right, All right so we see uh, our invoice here for $50 for the HDMI cables. We're going to go ahead and mark that transaction and say that the customer paid us all $50 of that. So payment date is set here to today's date. We're just going to hit save and journal. And then close out of this. Uh, we can see the lines by selecting lines up in here. And this will give us our $50. Um, also back on this uh, main screen here, you may have noticed the uh, open lines and Excel option. This will allow you to pull out those lines into uh, Excel in a similar format to which we did the sales order import. I'm not signed in here, but if I was, uh, this would, would show that $50 line and you can actually manipulate this data in Excel directly and then publish it back to uh, Dynamics. But we'll just go ahead and post this for now. All right. So we'll go ahead and exit out of here and go to that customer. So from the accounts receivable menu, we'll just go to all customers. And just a quick note here, similar to uh, favorites, you can actually click on this star next to any menu item, and it will immediately save it up into your uh, favorites here. Go to all customers. Uh, we'll just go ahead and select MY-004, Otter Wholesales. And we'll go ahead and go to the Customer tab here and select Transactions. And you'll see the uh, original sales order here of $50, showing a balance of $50, and then the payment that we uh, just applied here, uh, $50 as well, the balance is zero. So that's really about it. Uh, that's the full basically sales order to uh, cash process in the new Dynamics AX. If you have any questions or would like to see additional videos on um, any other processes that might be relevant to your business, feel free to send us a message uh, or a comment and uh, I'll be more than happy to make a video. Thank you very much.